Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Thank you for joining me for your ancestor messages. Tarot reading. So this is going to be a reading for the people born under the Emperor card, the um, Fool card and the Death card. So if you do not know what your Tarot birth card is, there will be a link to a short video on how to work it out in the description box below. Now, as always, I ask that you please do bear in mind those are general readings. I'm going to be channeling messages from different ancestors and it may or may not resonate with you. So if you would like to connect to the energies of my deck, now's the time to take a couple of deep breaths as I shuffle my cards. So what do my querents born under the Emperor card, the Death card and the Fool card need to hear from their ancestors for their highest good, please? Too many cards. Okay, so your first message is card 31, in the hand, the universe is your partner. Now card 31 diminishes to 4, which is um, the same as your ruling number, strong foundation, stability. This is a message from your ancestors that is telling you that now is the time to create or manifest or build something, because you are getting the support of the universe or God or your ancestors or your angels, whoever you work with basically. It's saying that they're lining things up for you, that you know, things are, it, it, the time is right, okay, and not to doubt, to trust that things are going your way, not against you. And then we have the card of the Eye of the Needle, card 17, Intentionality. Now, 17 diminishes to number 8, which is the number of advancement. So, in order to manifest, to be successful at manifesting, you need to be laser-focused. And now is the time to really focus on what it is you're trying to achieve. Um, they're saying not to get uh, distracted by, um, I'm hearing, chatter, noises, what other people think, um, just ignoring all of that and solely concentrate on what is your intention, what are you trying to manifest and most importantly what do you want, like what do you really truly want deep down, that's what they're saying to me. Let's see what this oracle has for you. So things will move forward if you do that, is, is what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm hearing. So we have card number 9, Awakening. And we have card 5, Inspiration. Okay, so nine is advancement in the tarot, and obviously an awakening is an advancement. This is something that's... I am getting the message that what you're trying to manifest and that you need to be laser focused on is something that you know deep down has been... It's been brewing for a while, is what they're saying to me, and you are awakening to how much you need this change. Um, you can see the artwork is very, um, it speaks for itself. You can see the process of being destroyed and then um, the light on the other side. And this is something that comes from within, from your heart space. You're gonna, you just, they're saying to me that you already know, that this is a deeper knowing that you need to manifest whatever it is that they're talking about here, whether it's um, a change of career because you are not on the right path and it's it's kind of soul destroying for you what you're doing right now whether you need to relocate move somewhere else because you know deep down this is where you need to be not where you currently are um, and then we've got this card of inspiration number five changes um, the, this energy that that of movement that brings about change in your life feel inspired follow your inspiration you're gonna have ideas on how to make this happen but remember the key is to be focused to concentrate on what it is that you are trying to um, manifest right let's grab the tarot and delve into the messages 
So can you clarify those messages, please? Gee, jumping cards. <laughs> So we have the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords. Can you see the similarity in the symbolism right here, or is it just me? The Six of Wands, yeah, and the Hierophant, Major Arcana. But on the deck, which is the energy at work that you may or may not be aware of, we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles represents weighing up options, um, being at a crossroad but looking at it from a very grounded point of view because this is coin energy, this is to do with Earth. Um, so your everyday life, whether we're talking about work life, home life, and really weighing up your options saying, hmm, should I, shouldn't I? Do I have the resources? Is this possible? That's that kind of energy that's underlying here. So. This is why your, your ancestors are telling you that the universe is helping you in manifesting this because you may well feel this energy of Two of Pentacles going, oh, I'm not quite sure. Will I be able to manifest this? Yes or no, not quite sure. I can tell you already that with the Ace of Swords here, we have a victory, we have clarity. So we start with the King of Swords. Now, again, no genders attached, this is just the energy of the cards. Now, the Kings represents mastery, knowledge and expertise. Swords is the mental body, so it represents your thoughts, your knowledge, your experience, and also communication. You have two out of four that are to do with mental energy. The King of Swords is someone who may well be someone who's going to help you manifest or build or bring about the change that you need in your life. However, it could also well be you, your energy, because you're being awakened and the King of Swords is an energy that you are um, going to be embodying, if not already are embodying. In other words, somebody who is very sharp, very intelligent, who will not be ruled by their emotions, who will make decisions based on fact, who will analyze a situation and has utmost clarity. And by embodying this kind of energy, you get the, the victory from the Ace of Swords, which represents ultimate clarity of thought. This is you know, the epiphany, this is the, ah, I know what I need to do, you know, that light bulb moment over your head. Now, it drew my eye immediately because it's right under this intentionality, you know, the swords, it's, it cuts, it cuts for anything that's not necessary and it cuts away the cloud, the, the fog that you may have experienced not knowing what to do, where to go, and gives you that focus, that concentration that I was talking about because I felt it in, immediately that in order to manifest what you need, you need to be laser focused. And this is, this is going to be um, very successful for you because you've got the Six of Wands energy right there. Now, I love the Six of Wands. It's one of my favorite cards in the Minor Arcana because this represents a victory, a triumph. The Six is harmony after having overcome some kind of change or disruption. Wands is passion, desire, your spirit. It's fire energy. So the Six of Wands is overcoming it and doing a lap of victory, you know, it's being very triumphant, it's um, people even noticing um, what you have achieved, but I am sensing the message for you that it's going to be a personal victory. It's um, overcoming maybe your fears, your doubt um, regarding what you're trying to manifest, and really taking that victory because you gain that clarity and you go for it. With the Hierophant being here, we have the Enlightenment coming your way. This is, particularly when I do ancestor messages, to me this is a download. This is them enlightening you, telling you, guiding you, showing you the way. Um, Hierophant with the Awakening card, serious evidence for me of you 
um, getting some download from your ancestors and being guided that you know that you're on the right paths because obviously you know there are layers to the cards and the hierophant may represents um, institutions strong commitment um, this may represent your strong commitment to what it is you are trying to ultimately um, manifest in your life but the message that I'm getting overwhelmingly today is that you are getting downloads you are being awakened and enlightened as to where you need to be in your life and this is not something that you're going to be able to uh, shove on one side or ignore you know you're going to feel it deep within yourself if you look at this card here it's going to be burning inside of you and you're going to feel inspired you're going to get lots of ideas on how to manifest this and and on what to do next so yes it's very very um exciting and positive so let's grab this deck and get you some uh, closing messages So we have the full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension, I'll, I'll go back to it in a second. And we also have the first quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. Okay, so with any kind of awakening, um, this is going to create some stress um, because, you know, it's a deep change. Now anything that's a change anyway, because we are human beings, we are programmed to feel safe in routines. So anything that changes our daily lives or routines is likely to create anxiety or a certain level of, um, you know, um, apprehension is what I would say. So your ancestors are saying to you, breathe through the tension. Scorpio is water energy, so it represents your feelings and your emotions and it's saying, be in touch with it. Do not put it away, feel the tension, the apprehension, the self-doubt, whatever it is you'll be feeling, and still go ahead, okay? Breathing through it, literally maybe as well, do some breathing exercises if you practice um, yoga or meditation, by all means do that, but it really is saying take it into your stride, breathe through it, don't uh, ignore it, um, don't pretend it's not there, just breathe through it, and push forward, don't give up, okay? The second message is step into your power. Now this is fire energy, Aries, okay, so fire sign. Step into your power, so embrace that energy because you have what it takes. You've got the six of wands here showing you that, you know, there's a victory, there's a triumph coming in. You've got the card of inspiration. Um, things are going to come into your mind, you're going to get that... Um, that drive, that impetus to take action, and they're saying to you, embrace it. Um, with these two cards together, the message is very clear, do not give up. This is charge forward, that, that's what the message is really in a nutshell. You have what it takes, um, just follow what your heart desires is what I'm hearing loud and clear. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I thank you for your time. It's your most precious commodity. I'm truly grateful you chose to spend it with me. I wish you a fantastic end of the month and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.